Welcome, Dave Conway Live. I am honored today to meet, or for you guys to meet Kai. Kai is a member of our coaching in the One Sail a Day Club, and um, she has made her official One Sail a Day quota. So I want to give you a round of applause for, <laughs> for Kai. Uh, Kai's coming to us all the way from Estonia. Um, Kai is a mindset coach, correct? Yes. Yeah, lovely. Um, so on today's call, I'm going to get to find out more about you, Kai. Um, you know, what happened, what happened in your life and why, what inspired you to join One Sail a Day and what's happened to you since and where you're going next. Okay, okay. let's do this. Awesome. Okay, so Kai, tell us about it. Tell us, um, tell us what had to, uh, tell us how life was before you, tell us about yourself. Yes. Okay. Hi, Dave. Thanks for uh, talking with me. I think it's very interesting to improve my English again. You know, it's been a long time since I was in Canada. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm 41 years old. I'm a mother of three and uh, I uh, used to work at Town Hall, but I left the job and I was just a fitness instructor. And let's say two years ago, my uh, income, monthly income was like 400 uh, euros. And nice. yes, yes, very nice. <laughs> but once I became uh, aware of uh, mindset uh, programs and materials, uh, I uh, raised my income three times. That was the first thing to do in two months. And uh, then I became a mindset coach myself. I used, uh, I call myself mindset mentor. I like the word mentor more. And um, First was everything really cool. I mean, I got my first clients because uh, the, the price was price was really cheap, you know, because I just started, <laughs> you know, I had to, I had still so much to learn, but I think I was uh, brave enough to uh, starting uh, mentoring right away, which helped me a lot. But then like uh, six months later, which was a year ago, I still found myself in the place I had like, no money because I had invested so much in myself to become a mindset uh, mentor and to make the change um, yourself. Yes, to to make the changes. I had I thought I had made uh, made some changes. I mean, yes, I had started my own business. You know, I got some clients, but it was still you know, not so good. It wasn't really consistency like in the things I was doing. And actually, then I met you. Uh, 2019 in LA. Yeah, we met last, a yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and uh, you guys, you all the sales guys who came to me and you <laughs> told me, I, I can tell you what you have to do. So we met next day and you made me to write down my five year vision. You made me write down like four, three, two year visions and how to set the goal. And I, it was really I want, helpful. I want to I want to interrupt you for a sec, Kai, because yes. I really want everyone to really understand just how incredible this woman really is. Okay. Um, I, I personally, it's just it's such been such an honor to mentor you. I, I want you to know that. All right. This woman, um, she comes from Estonia. I don't know if she said that earlier, but she's from Estonia. Um, the land of the beautiful ladies is what I call it. Okay. Estonia, amazing country. And the average wage in Estonia is how much? Oh, they say it's like 1200 but mostly 1000 euros monthly yeah about a thousand you can live off a thousand euro in estonia yes yes okay so mm -hmm. i just want to put that in perspective everybody because i really want to put in context just what this lady has done what she's doing and what she's had to come out of all right so when i met her in la she had already invested heavily like tens of thousands of dollars not $500 or $1,000. When I met her, she had all of her boys with her in LA. How many yes, boys did you fly over the pond to go to LA? Yeah, three boys. We spent uh, three weeks in USA and in Canada. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's not cheap. No. That's not cheap on 400 bucks a month. No. No. <laughs> so I really want... I just really want to put that in there for everybody just to really understand how powerful the mind really is. It doesn't matter if you're in Estonia, India, Canada, the mind knows no limits. Any thought that is held in the human mind moves into form. 
And I really want to put in context, Kai, because you should be very proud of yourself. Um, we can't rest on yesterday's wins, but you should be very proud of yourself. And uh, I personally have witnessed the complete transformation of a woman that would just never accept the word no. Okay? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. So go ahead. So now you're in LA, you and I meet. And I did what you told me to do. Um, and I still uh, saw the result in January. I wasn't happy. There was not, you know, there had been this, uh, this trip to LA with the boys. And in January, I was kind of like broke. <laughs> and uh, then I uh, thought, what, what's next? Um, I didn't uh, really have a mentor because he moved from US to some other warm place. And I was like without mentor. And uh, I met you in February again on a webinar. It was iBoomerang webinar. I was up at oh, yeah. 3.30 in the morning. Remember you told me, look at this woman. She's up, it's 3.30 a.m. and she's up <laughs> because it was late, <laughs> late time uh, in Toronto. And uh, I was listening to you. I'm like, okay, I need to talk to Dave Conway. He's going to be my mentor. He is my mentor. So we talked first and you said, okay, give me my credit card. I'm like, I don't have the money yet. You're like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I'm, I, get, I get back to you in a week. So it was my decision that I want uh, to be in one sailor day club because I knew I felt it. That's what I need. And in a week I booked another call and you're like, so Kai, how can I help you? I'm like, I have the money. Let's start. You're like, wow, what happened? I said, I got the client, got the money. Let's do this. And she it was, you earned it. Yes. Earned yeah. the money. And uh, it was beginning of March. So let's say 10, 10 months ago. Yeah, 10 months. Yes, yes. And uh, now I'm here. <laughs> now you're here. <laughs> Wonderful. So what's been, the, what's been the, the last 10 months like for you? What, what, what's happened to you? And uh, what's it been like for you? Many things have happened. I have, uh, you know, I moved, I got uh, separated. Uh, <laughs> that's like the personal life thing. Um, I started uh, many, I don't know, I, I started a mastermind, uh, master class, uh, got some clients there. I, uh, oh, so many things. I don't know, it's, um, uh, you know, we have those weekly calls with you and they are so inspiring. I study every day. I do what you tell me to do. Sometimes I don't do it right away. It takes me some time. I, I usually play with the ideas you say something, you know, I translate it into a stone and I'm like, what does it mean? What does it mean? And uh, I get the answers and, you know, something in summer, I didn't see uh, results. Like in June, I had good results, but in July and it was like, not, not so good. So I'm yeah. like, uh, yeah, maybe I should change the mentor. <laughs> I'm like, maybe I should change. Yeah, <laughs> he's not good. <laughs> and then I was like, but I'm not doing what he tells me to do, not everything, you know. And then I realized it's in me, I need to do it. It doesn't matter uh, when I change the mentor, but if I'm not doing it, then it doesn't help. So I'm like, okay, Dave is a guy, uh, is a guy. so I decided, to, decided him to be my mentor, so I'm not giving up. And in August and se September, you remember, it was awesome results I got. Yeah. So and we you just gotta do what the mentor tells you to do. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I want to share like we uh, Kai, Kai um, works a lot with self image and so do I and anyone that doesn't know what a self image is a self image is um, uh, the way you see yourself it's an image you have in your own subconscious mind it controls your behavior what you attract your it, it, it dominate it's a you cannot outperform your self image it controls your whole life. And um, that's why I think that the one sale a day club and this mentorship is so powerful. And also Kai's is because we deal with the internal world. So what happened with Kai was I really, I threatened to kick Kai off out of my group. I told her I'd boot her out if she didn't start to, I said, I was going to boot you out. I said, I wouldn't let you on the calls anymore unless you start doing what I say. Yeah, you said that. <laughs> yeah, I boot her out. <laughs> and I was like all sweaty. I'm like, really? Okay, I need to really do this. Yeah, yeah and <laughs> since then she's moved house, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, but I did threaten her. I told her, I'd boot you out of here. Like, if you don't do what I say, I'm going to give you the boot. Like, I don't want you here if you're not going to start doing what I say. And I threatened to kick her out. 
Mm -hmm. And it must have hit and she had the courage to do it. Now that's all her. I'm not responsible for Kai's results. She is. So Kai, what would you say is like three takeaways or three big game changers for you that like the other people can really start to internalize for themselves. And when she speaks here, I want everyone to really listen to what she's saying. Okay. Um, what are three big things that shifted to take you from a woman that earns $400 or 400 euros a, a month to last week earning 16,000 euros and hitting her first one sale a day in a week. Okay. So this one went from 400 a month to 16,000 in a week, right? So can you share, what are three ideas that you'd like to share with everybody? So first it was uh, accepting the idea, accepting the idea that I am a saleswoman. You kept saying, accept the idea, accept the idea. I'm like, I'm, I'm accepting, nothing happens. So I translated it into Estonian, what it means. I became up with, I need to convince myself that I am a saleswoman. And I got rid of the word convince that I am a saleswoman. I am, that's, that's what I am. And then I realized, oh, that means accepting the idea that I feel I am that person already. And it's very close with self-image. Yeah. I started to behave, feel, and think like that saleswoman that I wanted to become. Like, um, yeah, I know you sometimes make fun of us that, oh, you really want to uh, take, uh, like, uh, make decisions based on the person you want to become. It's no, no easy thing. It is. It's, it's not an easy thing. But what I did, I visualized, like, when I went to bed, uh, before I fell asleep, um, I uh, visualized what it's like to be this woman who is a saleswoman. And, you know, first I was really um, not accepting the idea. I don't want to say, you know, I don't, I don't sell anything. It's, you know, I just want mm -hmm. to help people. But then you turned around, you turned this thing around. It's the, it was very important to understand when I sell, I help. And that's the way to serve. Because um, every, every month I have uh, at least one person who says they are out of money, they don't have a work, you know, they like for a long time, they have had no income. And I say, okay, I help you for free. Do this and uh, call me back in two weeks. Guess how many people call me back? None of them, because I haven't made any sales. And now I realized if I want to serve people, I need to make a sale because then I can really help them. And uh, this, this was huge for me. It was and, massive. Uh, so, yeah. so, the first, so the first thing you would say is that it was the I am, like I am a salesman. It's, recon it's understanding that. Um, I don't want to backtrack a little too. So a lot of people, when they start doing sales or, they, or they're salespeople, but there's also coaches, whatever, like purpose doesn't sell. Like I remember when I first heard a uh, guy told me, he's like, Dave, <laughs> if you can't sell, pack up and go home. I was like, oh my God, what a rude person. Like, what a, like, I didn't like him. I didn't like what he said. I was like, no, I have a purpose, man. I want to help people. And he's like, if you don't learn how to sell, you're not going to help anybody. You know, you'll be like Mother Teresa out there just, <laughs> and that's fine. I want to be clear with that. That's fine. But if you want to start earning money and start, you know, bringing cash in and really helping people, he's like, you have to start making the sale. And I, I preach that gospel today too. And it's a big pill to swallow that, whoa, I am a master salesman or I am a master saleswoman. So you say the first one was accepting the idea that you are a saleswoman. Mm -hmm. And then would you say the second one is the visualize? Second, or uh, yes, like self-image, visualizing myself uh, and also how does a suggestion, like how I talk to myself. Like I started to tell myself a different story. Like instead of why I can't, or I'm not good enough, or who should listen to me, I started to say, I like, you told me this, you told me uh, to tell myself, I am uh, the world class mentor. Um, I like to be a mentor. I am a mentor of successful and goal achieving uh, people. And it really helps. I mean, when I do my, you know, um, I go to the store or I uh, put, uh, I dress myself. I always think th those things. Like I make myself to think uh, I am a world-class mentor. And now I believe it. 
because that's how it is. <laughs> that's how it is. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So the second is the visualization, visualization, the self image, the embodiment, like the embodiment of that person. Okay. And then what would you say the third is? The third is uh, serving, like serving others, uh, which is also uh, something I learned from you when, uh, when I felt this times in summer and it was in November that, oh, I need, you know, I have bills to pay, you know, <laughs> and I need to get money from somewhere. You never get, you never get it. And, but once you start thinking, how can I serve others? What can I give them? How can I uh, uh, give them more value? Um, and that's help the, the, the service. I think it's so powerful and how you see, how you see other people, uh, like in opulence way, you talk to them and you actually see them, uh, I, don't, I don't know, uh, so powerful achieving everything. And that helps me to serve them, to show them that they, they have everything already what they need. So it's beginning to serve, like release the energy into them. Yes, to release the energy, yeah. That's, release that's, the energy into them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, Kai and I, uh, we were talking before we came on live today too, and we are talking about, you know, what about people that when you do a great call and they don't have the money and it's like, no, you just have to let that go. Like you just, you have to start giving a 10 out of 10 in everything you do and everything you do, you have to show up as that person. You have to perform to those levels and you take care of the causes. Everything else starts to move into form. Okay. Yes. Now for those that are just joining, you know, I'll give a hearts or a thumbs up. Um, but I want to just put in perspective one more time. This woman earned last week, what used to take her four years to earn. If she earned $400 a month, that's about 4,000, 4,800 a year. This lady earned over 16,000 last week. She just earned more in one week than she used to earn in four years. Okay. So I want to give you a huge round of applause, Kai. Like I said at the beginning, it's just been an absolute honor <laughs> to work with you. Um, I know I've been tough on you for periods. You have good times, bad times. You had laughs. We've had tears. <laughs> you name it. <laughs> We've had it. Um, but you know what? It's all you. It's not me. It's you. It's you. And it's Kai's desire to um, serve other people. Like you're talking about a lady here that brought her boys, three boys across on borrowed money. You're talking about a lady that has held the fort down with her single mommy and now for with three kids, changing everything changing everything the way she dresses she's even on this call just because she wants to get even better at english like you are you are you are observing an absolute powerhouse of a woman and i think you should be very proud of yourself thank you dave i just thank want to clear one thing uh this 400 uh month wasn't really like for four years let's say my my average salary for a year was like ten thousand. so i basically turned my annual income into a monthly income okay so you had some uh, which, point those months and then you went to ten ten thousand yes. well okay. the ten thousand was before i was working and then i left the job you know and then like half a year i had this for 400 <laughs> so i'm very grateful grateful for my my partner at that time you know <laughs> oh wonderful yeah <laughs> excellent so Kai, if you're to leave everybody just one idea one idea um that you think would just hit home to wrap it up what would you think it is make a decision and then stick with it be persistent consistency this 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 is the the key and also be brave brave be brave <laughs> brave yeah i think it's important <laughs> i love it awesome kai i want to thank you for jumping on and sharing your story with everybody um like i said before it's just been wonderful and um i look forward to seeing what you create in the future because uh you are an unstoppable person it's just the beginning Thank you, Dave. Thank I you so that. much. And uh, it's I couldn't have done it without you. I think Conway Consulting is amazing. And One Sailor Day Club uh, is it's just uh, the best. So uh, yeah, thank you so much. I think yeah, everybody cool. should, should do this, what you teach. Pull the trigger. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>